<clears throat> Good evening, uh, everyone. This is uh, Rodrigo Zereu speaking on behalf of Novus and our international sales team. We want to thank you for investing time in attending this uh, Logbox uh, Connect Market presentation webinar. Uh, you are going to enjoy the information presented today and it will be valuable when reaching the market to present this outstanding product. Uh, this product launching webinar is the first edition being presented to our international sales network. And from now on, every new product released will be followed by an event like this. Uh, my colleague Fabio Piuma will take over from now on. So please let us know your feedback after the presentation. Fabio, this is with you now. Thank you, Rodrigo. Uh, good morning, uh, good, uh, let's say, good morning, everybody. Uh, here is, is uh, night, but <laughs> my name is Fabio Piuma, and I am product manager of Novos Automation. My mission today is to present the first model of the new family of data loggers to be launched into the market, the Logbox Connect family. Uh, Logbox Connect is the new wireless data logger family and this is connect because it will provide wireless connectivity to the world. We have a roadmap for the Logbox Connect family. Um, the first model is Bluetooth, the called Logbox BLE from Bluetooth Low Energy uh, Technology. The incoming models of this family are Wi-Fi and 3G cellular that I hope we will talk about them soon. So our agenda <coughs> for this webinar is here. So first of all, we'll, we'll make an overview of the new product Lockbox BLE from Family Connect. Then we will talk about the wireless communication procedures, the way how to download data and send it to the front end applications for managing an analysis of data. In this sequence, we will see the highlights of this product and why it has some attractiveness for the market. Then we'll see more deeply on the technical features of Logbox, navigating over its main characteristics. We also will talk about the options we offer uh, for the software applications, both for mobile devices and Windows platforms for notebooks or desktops. In the sequence, we put few application examples for end users. <coughs> Our customers and applications. On this, we will show briefly how to design a project with Logbox for that application. Of course, we will talk about the price and availability for shipping date and also special discount for this launch event. And finally, we will have a space for questions and answers regarding the Logbox issues. We will answer the main common questions, but all of them will be answered properly and send it back by email. We still have an additional questionnaire at the end of, of the webinar, which we please require that you answer it. The issue is regarding the product and market, and this will help us to improve our business for all, all of us. Uh, I have an additional tip for everyone. You can make questions during the, all the webinar. At any time you got a doubt, you can write it. In the go to webinar toolbar, you can expand the item question in the menu and then write your question in the field. Please, you are free to make the questions you need. So, this is the Logbox BLE, and 
it is what we are going to talk about next. It is a wireless data logger with communication via Bluetooth version 4.1, known as Bluetooth Low Energy. Because of that, it is very low power consumption in which provides at least two years of autonomy using only batteries as the main power supply. The device has three analog, uh, universal analog inputs and one, one digital input, as we will see in more details ahead in the presentation. The configuration of parameters can be done through Bluetooth or USB interface. All recorded data can be transferred to a computer or a mobile device using the respective application or to internet cloud portals like an IoT device. Briefly, the data download from Logbox BLE can be performed via Bluetooth communication from any Android mobile device and then from this transfers the file through sharing feature directly to the computer where the complete data analysis can be done with our software. Also some kind of analysis can be done directly in the smartphone with our APP. We'll see more details later on, I promise you. The transfer of data from Lockbox BLE to cloud is quite simple. From the Android device via Bluetooth, read the logger data and then directly send it from the application log chart to cloud by internet connected 3G or Wi-Fi. Or if connected directly to a computer via USB port, read the logger data and then directly send it from the software called NXperience to cloud by internet connection. So, both options are available to send data to cloud. We can offer the Novus Cloud as repository and dashboard clouds, but our product is also compatible with any other private cloud with uh, the protocol named MQTT. The MQTT protocol uh, is the most used protocol for IoT applications. So this is the connectivity we offer in this first model of Logbox Connect family. Let me show you some pictures of Logbox Billy. As we can see, it has a large display, two rubber keys and a USB connector in the right side. In the bottom part, it has a removable cover for the electrical connector. The connector is also removable and has identification of the connections itself. In the back part, we have the removable holder bracket, which can be fixed in a wall. Uh, also optionally, the bracket can host four magnet coins which provides the ability to fit the, the data logger into metallic surfaces. Still in the back part, we have the cover for changing batteries. It uses four AA alkaline batteries. I want to remember that you can put your questions during the webinar. So I want to present the highlights of the Logbox BLE. We have the wireless connectivity. The main advantage is the possibility of daily operation with wireless mobile devices with a friendly application. No cables are demanded to data download. All data can be sent wirelessly to a centralized computer or cloud. We have mobility, the operation with batteries the removable holder bracket and the removable connectors provides quick relocation of the equipment. We have versatility. 
the universal analog inputs provide the use of any type of analog sensor for any end application. So, one only model can fit any application. And finally, we have integrity of data. The intrinsic, of, uh, intrinsic protection of data against improper changes allows the generation of reliable reports for critical applications. The data cannot be changed inside equipment, which gives security of data to customer, providing confident data. Just a second. So uh, please, uh, we 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 want to to get your feedback if the the audio is okay. Okay, uh, technical features. Let's talk about it. As we already informed before. Uh, Logbox BLE has Bluetooth 4.1 and USB connectivity. The maximum distance operating with Bluetooth depends on the obstacles in the line of sight and reflections in the indoor environment, but it is around 10 meters. 10 meters so is the distance for the, for the communication. We have an Android application for mobile devices called LogChart BLE, use it to communicate with Bluetooth. We also have Windows software called NXperience, use it to connect via USB with notebooks or desktops. So the large display we saw in the pictures can show up to three simultaneous measurements and several icons indications. Also, the angle of view of the display is configurable by software as the intensity of contrast. Regarding the batteries, the four AA alkaline batteries provides more than two years of autonomy due to the low power. And as shown in the pictures, the bracket can be locked by fitting or by magnetic optionally. Continuing, Logbox BLE has three universal analog inputs, which means it accepts analog sensors with any kind of output signal, like thermocouples, any kind of thermocouple, PT100, electrical Signal, ele electronic signals like 0 to 50 millivolts, 0 to 5 volts, 0 to 10 volts, and current signals 0 to 20 milliamperes and 4 to 20 milliamperes. So it's uh, several range of, of inputs, analog inputs. The re resolution of analog digital converter is uh, 15 bits, which means 32,000 levels. As the display has four and a half digits, the range of indication is from minus 19, 19,999 to plus 19,999 with configurable position of the decimal point. The digital input can be programmed to work as pulses counter to read, for example, flow meters, or to work as event recorder to log a change of state of a digital sensor, like open, close, switch of a door. The maximum frequency sample of the digital input is two kilohertz, 
more than enough for most applications with, with pure sensors. Adding to this, a total of eight alarms can be configured, being two alarms per channel, as we have a total of four channels, being three analog and one digital. We can set for both low value and high value set point alarms. For the digital input, just working as pulses counter, at each interval logging, the counter accumulates the pulses number. So logs the value and then reset it, starting again. So it makes sense also to define low and high value for alarm, for example, flow sensors by pulses. Logbox BLE has built-in buzzer for alarms. Any alarm can be set to activate the buzzer and duration of continuous sound can be configured. The memory capability enables up to 140,000 records, which means typically higher than one year recording continuously, supposing a in interval logging of five minutes. Logbox BLE has also other built-in sensors. Temperature with NTC internal sensor for measuring the enclosure temperature, an internal battery and external power supply voltage levels. Any of those measurements can be set to be recorded in place of the other external channels and also to be viewed in the display. Talking about the external power supply, it supports from 10 to 30 VDC and can work with the batteries as backup. It also can work just with the batteries that we already mentioned for AA alkaline piles. It is also available a PMP digital output to operate as alarm output or as electronic switch to supply power to external sensors to be read. For that, should be used an external power supply with enough current power to source all sensors at a time. The switch turns on just during the sampling, turning off after that, saving energy of the external power, which could be, for example, a sealed battery. I want to remember that you can put your questions during the webinar. Novus offers the LogChart BLE, a free of charge application for Android mobile device. It can be installed into the smartphone easily from Google Play Store. It serves, serves for configuration of parameters, data download, and some features for restrict analysis, like graphic view of the log data and event records for each channel. Log chart can download data from several log boxes. There is a data collection manager that handles all stored data in the smartphone. Adding to this, the recorded files can be shared in few formats to other devices and can be sent directly to Novus Cloud. We will also will attend with the application for iPhones. The iPhone Log Chart APP is on development and will be released probably in January of 2018. This iPhone APP will have all the capabilities of the current Android APP. Novus also offers the NXperience software for Windows platforms. It is available free of charge for download from our website and can be used either for notebooks or desktops for USB connection with the log boxes. It is a powerful tool for overall features of Logbox BLE, like parameters configuration, data download, data full analysis, graphical view, 
creation of mathematics equations and repartitions. The mathematical equations may be applied to any channel. There is a gallery of equations already available for the user, but new equations can be implemented upon request. There are also sever several models for reporting files with alarm occurrences, detailed logging measurements, analytics view, and other. The reports can be exported in several formats like PDF, XLS, RTF, HTML. The user also can apply mathematical equations for the measured data to obtain processed data. So the N experience has a manager for log files from several log boxes. Similarly as log chart, the N experience can send all data to Novels Cloud. Here we have then the summary of key advantages of Logbox BLE. Connectivity. The equipment provides Bluetooth communication with any Android mobile device. It has an USB port for connection with any computer. Moreover, all data can be sent to cloud portals like Novus Cloud through Logchart or N Experience applications. Low power. The low power design coupled with Bluetooth technology provides long term autonomy. It means higher than two years operating just, just with batteries. Universal inputs. It has analog and digital inputs compatible with any kind of sensor, whether of physical measurements like temperature, flow, pH, pressure, or even, even detection, like door opening, fire detection, etc. And finally, mobility. The feature of operation with batteries and removable connector and bracket holder allows quick relocation in different places. Now, with a big picture in mind for Logbox BLE, we can think about several possibilities for the applications of our customers. Here we put few examples, like monitoring of blood bank laboratories, cold rooms, data centers, and supermarket freezers and refrigerators. But it is not limited to this. Lockbox BLE can be used in monitoring of small facilities that allows visual inspection of the display and proxy proximity for daily data downloads with mobile device. Understand this is important to survey the incoming opportunities in the customer processes. Here we have an example of off application, the recording of temperature in blood bank laboratory. Because the size of the facility is relatively small, an analysis of the lab blueprint may define two points of monitoring, mainly in critical locations. So, two lock boxes may be installed on those locations with configuration of high limit of temperature, triggering a buzzer alarm on its occurrence. The lockbox may be fixed in the wall at eye level of a person standing. The data download may be done in daily basis for getting history profile of temperature for future audits. A second example is the control of temperature limit and ammonia gas in refrigerated facilities. The analysis of the infrastructure blueprint defines, for example, two, two critical points of monitoring of those measurements. Using an ammonia gas leak detector, let's say it's a digital sensor and can be set as alarm. The high limit of temperature may also be set to trigger the buzzer alarm. Because of the memory capability of lockbox, the user may 
promptly define weekly data download for getting history profile of temperature. Those log files may be stored in the computer or file servers and be used in future audits or even for report issuance. Well, now we would like to open a break for questions and answers. We will answer now the most common sent questions up to now. But all questions already sent or to be sent during the webinar will be answered and sent back by mail to everyone. So yeah, I'll, I'll get some questions here. Um, Fabio, can you switch your display, switch your display channel? channel? Uh, okay, uh, uh, th this is a good question. Uh, I'm not very, very sure, but I think, uh, uh, yes, it is possible. Um, there are 140,000 loggers. Uh, oh, sorry, 140k loggings. Uh, is it for each channel or for the three channels? No, this is the total memory for the three channels. So if you, for example, select uh, only one channel for logging, it will be all, all the memory for, for that channel. But if you enable the three channels, it will be shared uh, f for the three channels. Uh, there's another question here. Uh, uh, rather than channel, channel one, channel two, channel, 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 channel three, can you make a label for, can you make a label for it? Read, 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 reading on the display? Uh, no, in fact, no. Uh, the display will show only the value of measurements. The label can be configured in the software for, for the PC, for the computer. So in the reports, that you make, you can have the engineering units, but this is only uh, when you download the data and generate reports, not directly in the equipment. Um, what's the distance for the Bluetooth communication? The distance is around 10 meters. Um, are there sensors inbuilt? Uh, yes, we have uh, we have three. Let's say three built-in sensors. Uh, one is the uh, internal temperature with a NTC sensor, and we also have uh, voltage sensors for for the internal batteries and for the external power supply. Let me see more questions. Is it possible to disable the Is it display? possible to disable the display? Yes, it, it is possible. Yes, it is possible. Okay, just one more question here. Okay, just one more what question about, here. Uh, the iOS what about uh, the iOS compatibility? Uh, we have a, a roadmap to have it also for the iOS platform. So the iPhone application is on development, and we we have a, a, a forecast for uh, finish it uh, end of January. Okay, that was it of questions. Uh, does anyone else have? Uh, okay, okay. timeline for Wi-Fi in 3G. Uh, do you have a timeline for the 3G or Wi-Fi? Yeah, we'll, uh, our roadmap for the Connect family is is the Bluetooth and then the Wi-Fi and 3G. So uh, we have 
in the next month the launching of those models. I don't have uh, right now the exact date, but we'll, uh, we'll, you'll be informed about it. Okay, we can give some more time for questions. Um, I've got another question here that I have already answered before, um, which was what is the accuracy for PT100 sensors? Uh, and, the, uh, and the answer is 0.15% uh, of full scale, uh, which is from minus 200 to 65, uh, 650 degrees. Um, here another one. Uh, for the 4 to 20 milliamps inputs, will it display engineering values on the display or raw values? Uh, for the display, you can set the range uh, of indication. So you can you can set the decimal point position and the range that you want to show. Uh, you can show it directly in the engineering uh, unit. Anybody else got questions? Okay, I think that's it. Um, we anyway, uh, we have that's the, the the third edition we we've made today. So we've got lots of questions on the other webinars as well. We'll be sharing uh, a document with all the questions that the other distributors had as well, and send that compiled. To, to all of you. Um, also, the ones that couldn't make it to the webinar will receive a recording. Um, I'd like to thank you guys very much for, for being here. Um, and I'll, I'll pass it on to Mr. Fabio so he can finish. OK, so uh, thank you for everyone that watched our webinar. Uh, please take a look at our website. All detailed information you need is available. Technical specifications, product manual, and commercial flyer. Please contact the key account executive for your region for all related issues. Here are my contact details if you need more deep information. Please, don't forget to answer the questionnaire about this webinar. Uh, thanks again, and I hope to hear soon from you. Goodbye.